Look at them. Do you know him? Are you ready to die? Are you prepared to meet your maker? These are important questions. This is something you have to search in your heart. You have to examine to see. If you are in the face, you have to judge yourself. You have to judge yourself. If you judge yourself, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you judge yourself now, oh, it'll be beautiful because Christ will come and forgive. But if you let your sins follow after you, oh, it's going to be terrifying on that day. On that day when you stand before God and you do not know Jesus Christ, he is not the mediator between God and you, and you're going to stand before God, and what are you going to say? What are you going to say? about your sin. What are you going to say on that day if you do not have Jesus Christ, Savior of the world? Oh, salvation. Salvation from what? Salvation from the punishment of sin. What is sin? Lying is sin. Lying. Covetousness, idolatry, outburst of anger, selfish ambition. Those are just a few. We have to see that we have all sinned. All of us have sinned. There's none righteous, no, not one. The difference between most of you and me is Jesus Christ took my sins. He was nailed to the tree. And I became, I became his righteousness. There was an exchange. It was a divine exchange. A supernatural exchange. He was punished that I might be forgiven. He was wounded that I would be healed. He became sin with all my sinfulness that I might be made righteous with all of his righteousness. He took the poverty that I might have the abundance in it and riches. Oh, he took my shame that I could be blessed. That, that is the exchange. Now you can experience this divine exchange, your guilt, your guilt for his peace. Man, that is so beautiful that Jesus Christ will come and, and love you in a way that only he can love you. Oh, most of you get your love by your outfit, your clothes, what you buy, how you look, the praise of one another. Yeah, most of you get your love by your friends. I'm telling you to get the love straight from the source of love. I get my love straight from the source of love because I have a relationship with him. I know him. I walk with him. Who is him? Jesus Christ. I am the temple of the living God. I am his resting place. I tabernacle with God. That means me and God dwell together, together in intimacy, together. I know his mind. I know his heart. I know his ambitions. I know his plans for me that they are good. They are good. All of them are good. He leads and he guides me in the path of righteousness for his namesake, for his glory, for his praise and his greatness. I want you to experience that tonight. I want you to see. I want you to see how great he is and how sinful you are. That you would come. You would come in humility and in confession and saying, God, you are right. I've sinned against you. You would come in repentance and you would change the way that you live. Now Jesus Christ would be the center, not you. Jesus Christ would rule, not you. Jesus Christ would govern your life, not you. You need Jesus to lead and guide you, to bless you, to, to satisfy your soul, to give you peace that when your mind is stayed on him, he will keep you in perfect peace. But the wicked have no peace. There is no satisfaction for the wicked, the ungodly, the unbeliever. That's what the Bible describes. What is wicked? It's that unbelief. When you do not believe what Jesus Christ said he is, who he is, and what he has done. When you come in faith and belief, the gift that comes to you, and God gives you a revelation and you're changed. You're changed. Your sins have been blotted out. Times are refreshing. Come, you're converted. Regeneration. There's something, that a miracle takes place. Now you know God.
Your spirit bears witness with your spirit. Your sins have been blotted out. You have confidence. You have security. You and your identity as a child. You have a future. You have a hope. You have a destiny. Your life radically changes because you do not live for this world and the things of this world. Your identity is not based on what car you drive, what house you, what career you have, what, what you have in your life. And now you know, you know there's an unseen realm. You know there is a God and he has created all things for you. <laughs> That's amazing. I, that humbles me. God, you created all things for me? That I might experience you? That I might know you? Man, well, why? Why me? I'm just dust. I'm nothing. I'm God. I'm I, What can I say? Man, I, why would you want to, to, to change me? 